New Jersey is the only state in the Northeast with one. Most people, when they think of insects, they want to just kill them right away. But there are good bugs. Bureau Chief Thomas Dorsey says just five states in the U.S. have a beneficial insect lab. What we do here at the laboratory, we rear good insects, beneficial insects to control pest insects and also noxious or pest weeds. In the mid-80s, New Jersey opened the Philip Lampy Beneficial Insect Lab, a division of the State Agriculture Department. The lab raises good bugs to kill the bad ones and bad weeds that attack trees and plants and create an imbalance in the natural order of things. I'm sure when you've told people over the years where you work and what you do here and people say, New Jersey has what? Have you gotten that reaction? Oh, of course. Most people say, yeah. you mean you're rearing bugs? Yeah, but it, it's unique. It's interesting, though, and most people aren't aware of it. But when you explain the philosophy, and most people are on board with it. If you think they look a lot like ladybugs, well, you're right. They are ladybugs. In one lab, the Mexican bean beetle lays its yellow eggs underneath the leaf. One thing typical of bean beetle damage is that they don't actually chew the plants, but they skeletonize the leaf. You get that lattice-like effect. To counter that, the lab is raising these tiny stingless wasps that live entirely on the Mexican bean beetle. Dorsey says the lab is indispensable because foreign pests and plants enter the Garden State through seaports in Newark, Elizabeth, Bayonne, and Camden. The mile a minute weed came from Asia. The vine smothers and strangles its prey. They have these tendrils that attach to you. The U.S. Agriculture Department determined these tiny weevils would take on the vine. So in 2004, the Beneficial Insect Lab began raising the weevils and has released them all over the state. Doing nothing or doing it too late can lead to this, dead ash trees, thanks to the emerald ash borer. Michigan entomologists sent this fix to the New Jersey lab. If you think we should just leave the ecological system to itself to take care of itself and to balance things, then consider this, what would happen to the ash tree? and America's favorite pastime. You ever watch a Major League Baseball game and then you see a guy swinging at the ball and the bat explodes? That's not an ash bat, that's a maple bat. The one word the lab does not use to describe its work is eradicate. Instead, it uses control. Think of an ecosystem uh, like an airplane. Um, every time you lose a species in the ecosystem, you're popping a rivet. How many rivets are you gonna let pop before the ecosystem collapses or for the airplane to fly down? Um, so what this is for is, is not to eradicate anything, it's to bring things back into balance. The lab has an annual budget of a half million dollars. It estimates that by limiting the use of pesticides and allowing nature to take care of nature, it's saving more than a hundred million dollars a year, and of course, the environment as well. In West Trenton, Michael Hill, NJTV News.